Welcome to Family Gamer TV. Now, you probably saw a little while ago us review a game, We Party You. This is a game that takes that um, Wii U gamepad controller, uses it in unusual ways, gamepad party mode, um, also offers um, different ways to use that controller in your environment. So maybe you're looking around the room trying to spot different hidden things and communicating that to the other players. And also creates sort of a board game aesthetic where you, you play lots of mini games and you progress around different types of board games. Now, that was popular at the time, but it's just stuck with us so we still carried on playing it even with lots of new technology lots of new toys coming out at Christmas we party you has really sort of stood the test of time and so far you know we've just been playing it again and again over the weekend so I thought I'd come back and we'd look at some of the different modes that have worked best for our family so in that gamepad party grouping of games they're just two player top down usually you have two of you gather around the gamepad controller pick a game and then you, you challenge each other in a head-to-head -head battle. Here we found the gamepad baseball game, just really good, simple fun. And what starts off that looks almost a bit too simplistic, you have one of you controlling the batter, one of you controlling the pitcher. You soon realise there's a lot more here um, than meets the eye. Ooh, good hit. Oh, you've got three, so he's gone round, three bases. I was already. That's part of the game. Oh yeah, you can't be not ready. Do it. Straight away when he hits the ball. Yeah! Aha! Uh -huh. Home run. What happened? Home run. Home run! Oh wow! Uh -huh. It's 1 1! Ooh! Ooh! So that's a single. single. Yeah. You soon realise there's a lot more here um, than meets the eye. There's a real sort of nuance to how, how you time. Your, your flick on the controller. If you're the pitcher, they've got a, a variety of different pitching speeds and you can also add some curl if you hit it just right. And the kids have been playing this again and again um, and just finding that there's a lot of depth here. So in, although it appears to be quite a simple game, it has a lot of longevity to it and I've really enjoyed playing them at it um, and often getting beaten and also, also seeing them challenge each other. Then moving on into the house party um, range of games. Now these are games which uh, use your physical space so often the, the Wii U um, gamepad controller is used to hold up and move around or there's, there's something about that physical area gets you off up off the couch running around and communicating differently with each other the game here the lost and found square game um, that we looked at originally again has been a real popular a popular experience and I think it's about the communication that happens here so because one of you one of you um, is lost in this arena uh, but you can look around with the Wii U gamepad controller and you have to tell Tell the other players, um, speak to them to sort of tell them where you are, what you can see around you. Uh, I'm in by some big palm tree, by the ship, pipe ship. Right. By big pipe okay, ship. By a big train, big robot, green car. There might be lots of green cars, so be careful. Um, airplane. Uh, Ollie, I can see you. Ellen, Ellen, here, here, here. Yes. You got him? Yeah! Well done. Do me. Go. Ollie. Press two. Press two. 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 And you think you need to move. Yay! It's all about communication. It's not about fast reaction times. It's not about who can press the button the quickest. It's about who can make precise and clear communication. And in my family, all ages um, seem to have different tactics to doing this. Some people, would, some of them will just try and talk really quickly, get as much information out as you can. Some of them will just say very precise, um, detailed instructions. And then some of them, my youngest, um, will, will say a few things and then just expect the others to find him, um, which maybe doesn't work quite so well. But they've all enjoyed that different challenge that this lost and found square has brought. And I've enjoyed getting involved in that too. Then finally, in the TV party um, area, it offers lots of different board games that ties together different mini game challenges as you progress around the board. Now there's one in particular that um, when my daughter saw that it was in the collection, um, which was the Fashion Plaza um, TV party game, was like, we've got to play that one. <laughs> we'll do that one later. Well, fashion, fashion, fashion. And she was really keen on playing it. 
And I'm happy to say that actually the experience it delivered was what she expected. So there's a board game, but it's themed around winning and putting on different outfits. Now the outfits you wear will affect how you perform and what points you score in the game. So there's lots of layers happening here. There's the board game, that sort of simple traditional board game like Monopoly that you'd see, you'd obviously play at this time of year, maybe at Christmas. Um, but on top of that, there are the mini game challenges and those win you different dice to move forward and different, different abilities to progress around the board. And finally, there's this top layer, which is the sort of dressing up um, sort of aspect of the game that my daughter really loves. Now, I think all these games come together in a, in a package that has a lot of depth to it, um, but there's a real sense of variety here, and I think that's why um, We Party You is a game we've come back to. So if you're looking for a family game on the Wii U, or if you're trying to choose between the consoles, looking for, for one that's going to really work for your family, I think have a close look at We Party You, because the games that it offers there would be hard-pressed to find on any other console and offers a real depth um, and sort of breadth of experience that will work with a whole range of your family. Most ages will find something, something of a challenge um, to get into and to enjoy. That's all we've got time for today on Family Gamer TV, but we'll be back with more soon.